Budget Outdoors Review. Today we're going to be going over the BioLite Camp Stove. So all this right here is what you get in the pack. And let's go over it piece by piece. First off you get a little charging USB cable in it. You get six fire starters. A USB flex light. The stove itself. The power pack for the stove. And then finally its own little travel bag that you can put it in and storage. Alright, now let's start with the stove here. Nice little stove, it's very simple, very lightweight, mostly uh, stainless steel and aluminum pieces to it. It has three uh, fold out legs that help it for stability to sit. Now this area right here, this is where the power pack is going to be attached to. Now let me show you how that goes. You fold down the center leg that goes on the power pack side. Now the power pack, you see, has this probe that sticks out and its foot. Now this little foot anchors right here in the bottom. See, you take the orange, put it to the orange. But before you do that, you stick the probe up through the hole and then that foot there. Once that's there, take the leg on the bottom of the stove and it actually is the locking mechanism that helps hold the power pack onto that stove unit. And there it is like that. Now, all together, this whole thing weighs just over two pounds. So that, that it's not very heavy and in its folded up state, uh, it's very com compact. It's about eight and a quarter inches by five inches. So it's very compact and fits right into that little bag very nicely. Easy to st throw in any bag, in the back of a car, whatever you got uh, for your camping or bug out bag. It's very nice. Now, this power unit here, not only does it convert the energy from your fire over into electricity, but it also has a fan inside of it. So let me show you that. See the little power button? Just push on the side right there. Hear that fan? What that fan's doing is it's blowing air into the stove. And inside the stove there, there's holes all on the inside. So what it does it blows the air in there. It creates like a tornado uh, vortex on the inside. And that creates the heat to push it up out of the top. And in doing that, it does two things. First, what it does, it creates a smokeless fire by pushing that, fire, that up to the top. And that's really nice. That helps... Uh, so you don't have the smoke into your face and it flying around, showing where you're at. And also just a good experience in the camping. Second, it creates intense heat. And that's what that probe right there needs. It needs a lot of heat. Because that heat goes back down into here and gets transformed into usable electricity. So, it needs the heat go to make the electricity. Now that fan it has two settings. It has a low and it has a high. Now when you turn the fan on see that little light down at the bottom? That yellow yellowish orange light? Now what that's doing is saying hey I'm being used but I can't make electricity yet. Once you have your fire in there and it gets hot enough you can turn the fan over onto high. All you do is push on the side of that power button once it's hot enough, because right now it won't do that. It won't go over to the high. But once it get, has that heat to go up to it, you can put, push that little button on, uh, push on the side of the power button, and it goes over to high. And it will light up the high, 
and that orange bar at the bottom it will turn to green and that's when you're ready to make power now right below that little light bar is a little rubber flap that's where you fit your USB port and you just stick it in there and it creates electricity and that you can use and they've gave you this little uh, flex light that you can just stick in there and use to help while you're cooking or at the fire or such it just fits right in there and you move it around however you like and want now with this little flex light right here as you can see there's no on and off buttons but let me show you how it works right here I have a little power pack fits in USB port now all this flex light has to be done to it is tap the pack back of it and it current cuts on Now that light right there is a hundred looms and watch this you just tap the back and hold your finger on it dims down put your finger on it again brightens back up touch it's off touch it's on and take it all the way down maybe stop a little bit touch it it's off all you have to do it's a touch light so on and off or uh, right raising and lowering the brightness on it it's really nice but this little stove here this is great for one two people maybe three because it's a very compact size and it's very nice now this isn't a stove that you go and get you know have your hands around to get warm I mean it does put off a little heat right here but most of it's come about the top for cooking that's the whole purpose of this is cooking and producing electricity that you can use by USB port so anything that you have that's USB port based um, any of your phones uh, your tablets anything that you can plug into that will work now that has a 5 volt um, field that comes out of that so that um, it's it's a nice power source now with this a 20 minute charge on a device depending upon your device and the battery capability and the age of it and how intense you have your fire that's the another other big thing if you have a low temperature fire it's not going to produce as much heat as uh, electricity a higher temperature fire produces more electricity so but on a 20 minute charge on your USB you roughly get around 60 minutes worth of talk time on a phone but that varies depending upon phone to phone um, they also are saying that with this and it also depends upon your altitude your fire source and the size pot that you have but you can get a pot of water to boil in four and a half minutes and that's because that tornado jet effect coming up out of the top creating that intense heat with this here your fuel sources are any biomass so sticks twigs uh, leaves anything that's burnable don't put you know plastic in there because that's just going to mess this up don't put that in there plastic can burn but not in this you don't put that in there only biomass and when you collect your biomass you find stuff the length of your hand that way it's not sticking up out of the top and you'll have a flush area to sit your pan down on and with this this thing will burn hot and it can burn fast so have plenty of your tender ready to go in this that's the big thing get your tender in there get it going and then have a stack of your burning material ready because you're going to have to start feeding that to keep it that intense heat in there to make that power for that pack all right now let me show you how you go and just uh, after it's dismantled you put it all together so you can put it in a bag uh, you, once you have the power pack off and your feet and your legs collapse to get in on there set it down take your power pack 
Now you'll notice here on the top, it's three scalloped areas. Now you stick the probe right here on the side that has the opening outward. So what you do is you take your power pack unit and it just slides right down inside there. Just like that. And you take your bag, just open it up, set it down in, pull it up. Don't forget your little light. Slide that down in the bag. Put your little drawstring. And it's ready to go. Throw in your bag in the back of your car. It's ready. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to be entered into our monthly giveaway.